Hey guys, Josh with the Ill Equipped Kitchen here. Today, we're talking coconuts. Coconuts are everywhere out here. There's an abundance of them and they are super good quality. The thing that I saw that really amazed me, I was going around the market with my mates the other day and they pointed out this lady who made the fresh coconut milk straight from the coconuts. They take the coconut, they grind up all of the flesh and then press that, giving us this insanely good coconut milk. I've tried this before. You could just drink this stuff. It's, if you've ever had coconut milk out of a tin before, this stuff will blow your mind. So we're gonna be making today our first veggie meal, which I think is great. I wanna be doing more veggie stuff because I think as a whole, we should all be eating a little bit less meat. So today we're looking at a pumpkin curry. It's gonna be absolutely cracking. And uh, yeah, it's, it's super simple. It's got not a huge amount of ingredients in there. Stuff that you guys can get pretty much wherever you wanna look for in the supermarkets back home. And it's just showing off two main ingredients really. The coconut milk and that delicious pumpkin that we got hold of. So yeah, let's get home and I'll show you how to make it. One trip down the market and you need a shower. It's ridiculously hot here. So here's what you're gonna to need to make your pumpkin and coconut curry. Lemongrass, spring onions, ginger, kaffir lime leaves, garlic, lime zest, and a lime. This is gonna be our curry paste. Some spring onions, a couple of limes, Thai basil, this beautiful chunk of pumpkin. And of course, our hero, the coconut milk. So what we're gonna do is smash all of this up into an incredibly fragrant curry paste. At the same time, we're gonna chop this up and we're gonna fry it off so we get some nice color on there. When this is all made into a paste, we're gonna fry that off too, and then we're gonna add our coconut milk and we're just gonna let it simmer down. And that's it, it's such a simple recipe. So let's get cracking on the smashing of things up. So what I wanna do now, is we're gonna just jank these up a little bit just to help in the process. We're gonna not use the whole ginger because it's gonna be a bit too much, a nice knob like that. We're gonna help out the lime by putting a few slices in there, in with the kaffir lime leaves, about that many, and then a good amount of garbage. Let's put a little bit of salt in there just to help as an abrasive, and then we're gonna really On the living daylights out of it. This is going to take a little bit of time because you do need it to be a really good paste. And after about 20 minutes of bashing up, your curry paste should look something like this. So, what we've got is a beautiful, fine paste here now. You could do this in a blender as well, and that will give you an even finer one. But of course, we don't have one here. But yeah, we've got this beautiful fine paste that we're going to fry off in a minute. And what we've been doing in the meantime is we've also Got our pumpkin, we've chunked that up into beautiful steaks like this, and we're just browning them off at the edges, and they look so delicious. They're gonna be these really hearty chunks of pumpkin. What we're gonna do now, though, is we're gonna put those in a bowl, and then we're gonna fry off our curry paste. Put our curry paste into the pan that we've just fried off our pumpkin in, give that a good stir around, and we're gonna get that back on the heat. Okay, so we've got it onto the heat now. You just wanna give it a thin layer over the top and then just kinda of leave it. You don't want that heat to be on too high. You don't want it to be too brutal. Oh, it's, it smells really, really great right now. And you wanna fry this off until most of the moisture has left the pan and you've got a relatively dry mix. And just getting rid of all the water and leaving those intense flavors. So the curry paste has been frying off for about five minutes now, guys, and the flavors are getting super intense. It's dried out a lot, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our coconut milk in there as well as our pumpkin, and we're gonna leave it to cook down for, I don't know, about kind of 20 minutes or just until that pumpkin is really nice and soft. So let's do that now. Okay, so we've brought all this off the heat now. And what we want to do is open up this incredible coconut milk that is fresh today and we're going to add that into the pan about a 
tin's worth back home. Maybe a bit more, maybe a tin and a half. Then we're gonna add our pumpkin back into that, which we're just gonna simmer away really gently for probably, I think about 15 minutes until it's just softened up. Okay, so that now goes back on the heat. Okay, so what we're gonna do at this point, because it's getting a bit thick now, we want it to be thick and creamy, but we don't want it to go over the top. We're just gonna add a little bit of water into that. Let's put a little bit more in there. Great. Have a little taste at this point. To see that we're on track and we really are. That's very good. Cool. We're just leaving that now for another 10, 15 minutes. Our pumpkin curry has now been cooking down for about 25 minutes. It's looking really delicious. It's taken on a beautiful orangey green color from the pumpkin and from all those herbs we put in to start with. So let's get to my favorite part and let's plate this up. Okay guys, so this is our final finished curry. We've just got to put all of our little bits on here now to finish it up. If you were here on an earlier episode, you would have seen me making this. It's a chili chutney, it's super spicy, but it's so tasty. It's really fruity and gingery, and that is gonna complement this so well. So now all we need to do is let's put a bunch of lime in there. We wanna have something beautiful and fresh complementing those flavors. Okay, so we squeeze the last of that juice in there. Great, and just give that a little mix about and then we're gonna have some of our Thai basil. We'll just put that on the top. It's almost got like a basil-y hit, but then also like an anise kind of thing, like a kind of licorice-y smell to it. So we'll put a little bit of that on there. Then all we need to do is get a load of our spring onions, sprinkle that on top. That is looking so beautiful. And now, just for a hit of that spice, which I absolutely love, we're just gonna pop little bits of this just all over, just to give little pockets of spice and zing. I like it kind of fiery, so we'll put a bit, of, a bit more of that one. And just to finish this off, we're gonna put a couple of glugs of fish sauce in there, just to bring out the flavor. It's salty, and that is, all you're gonna need because it's so rich in flavor. And that is it, guys. Look how beautiful that is. That is something that you have friends over and you share with them and they're gonna love you for it. And I tell you what, forget the meat. Just go and get a pumpkin. This is super affordable and, well, I think it's gonna be delicious. So all we have to do now is get down here and have a little bit of a go. All we need to do now, guys, is tuck in and, oh, that, you can see, I'm gonna get a little bit of everything on there. A nice hunk of that pumpkin with the sauce and the spicy hot sauce that we made. Mmm. Hot, very oh, hot. Hot. Mmm. This really is everything that you could want from a curry. It's almost vegan, take the fish sauce out, add soy if you want, and then you can be a totally vegan recipe. It's just so fragrant, it's delicious. You, you've got to give this a go. The, this one, you really do have to give a go. I know I say this to everything, but this is a really special piece of food. Okay guys, that is just another one of the episodes that we're gonna be putting out over the next few months. I have loved making this one, and I think you will too. We've got episodes coming out weekly now, um, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. We've got so much more to show you. So. Make sure you subscribe, like the videos, share them with your friends because I really want as many people to see this as possible. Comment down below if you want to see anything else. And yeah, until next time guys.